When we came here, it was to start again. Draco was a new beginning for those fleeing an overburdened Earth. Draco was a second chance. The first humans to arrive on Draco built a massive city, reshaping and taming the land. But we discovered that Draco wouldn't be so easily settled. From the planet's depths came Crimson Scale, a virus unlike anything we'd ever encountered. In the pandemic that followed, the city of our founders collapsed, with countless lives lost to sickness, panic, and fire. It was from that time that the Seekers arose, holding together the last remnants of humanity. The Seekers created Icarus Division, a group composed of those with the ability to commune with the dragons that ruled Draco. Since then, a hundred years have passed. The Seekers train and organize the Dragon Riders of Icarus Division, using their skills to protect the colonies from the harsh environs of their adopted planet. Now, the Seekers and Icarus Division are all that stand between humanity and extinction. A newbie? Please tell me this is a joke. It was my first time out with Icarus Division. I've been assigned to a recon team, orders to excavate the site of an ancient ruin. Icarus Division needed someone whose experience they could count on in the wilds of Draco. Apparently, I fell short. Sorry, kid, but I need someone who knows what they're doing. Not a freshman flyer on his first set of wings. Does Command even understand the situation we're facing out here? I suppose you'll have to do. Our radar's picked up an anomaly just beneath the planet's surface. Looks like some kind of ruin. Our researchers think it might predate our arrival on this planet. Who knows? Maybe we'll find something that'll help us beat Crimson Scale once and for all. My first assignment with Icarus Division had begun. like that white dragon before. Command's gonna want samples. Follow it.
White Phantom spotted. Repeat. White Phantom spotted. Spread out. We haven't seen this thing for a decade. Why now? Fall back. We are prepared to take this thing on. Repeat. Fall back now. Fall back, damn it. Yeah! Ah! It's said that the Riders of Icarus Division speak the language of dragons. In our dreams, it was easy to believe we had become dragons ourselves. The Crimson Scale virus changed us, shaped us into something else, something more. On the back of a dragon, it was easy to feel invincible. But the White Phantom was an eternal reminder that we were only human, and that Draco was not our home. Draco would never be our home. That recon team was made up of seasoned vets, and you were the only survivor? You must have some serious luck, kid. The last time the White Phantom showed itself, even the full force of Icarus Division was barely enough to keep it from destroying a colony. Anyway, that was then, and now isn't the time for a history lesson. I'm Sana, your new commanding officer. Fall in line, fly straight, and follow my orders, and we won't have any problems. Now, let's talk about your next assignment. We haven't been able to track the White Phantom or this White Reaver since they took out your squad. But we're hearing chatter of possible sightings in nearby regions, with subsequent increase in infection rates. We don't have confirmation from the researchers in command. But between you and me, there's no doubt in my mind that these beasts are spreading the virus. Our latest report indicates a highly infectious crimson scale outbreak in a heavily populated region. Command is concerned the creatures nearby have been infected. We can't risk another widespread outbreak, Recruit. We need you out there. We can't risk letting any carriers travel outside this region to spread the virus further. You're the only person we've got that survived an encounter with the White Phantom. With a little luck, you might even be able to help us finally put a stop to this thing.
report of a white reaver sighting at the lake region nearby. Command is concerned it may have transmitted crimson scale to the local wildlife. Go have a look. And if there are any infected creatures, take them out. We can't risk another pandemic. Head 
back to the base. Crimson Scale pandemic ended long before I was even born, but minor outbreaks were a constant danger on Draco. Most of the infected die a quick death. They're the lucky ones. There are those the infection doesn't claim. They survive the sickness, living, if it can really be called that, in a sickly, weakened state, marked with the scaly lesions that gave the disease its name never truly recovering from the ravaging effects of the virus. And then there are those like me, the Dragon Riders of Icarus Division. I was just a child when Crimson Scales struck my village. I could only watch, helpless, as my entire village succumbed to it, one by one, until I was alone. But the fever passed quickly for me. I woke stronger than ever, found I was able to commune with the dragons that rule Draco's skies. It was then my destiny was written. Nice work out there, kid. Maybe you're not as helpless as you look. Look, I know you didn't choose this life. None of us did. The fact is, Draco doesn't want us here. Every creature on this planet, from the biggest dragon to the smallest, wants us gone. But you, me, and the rest of Icarus Division are the last hope for this little slice of humanity. And we're not going anywhere. Your abilities give you a chance at survival. But you need to work with your dragon if you want to up your odds. The dragons are truly incredible. They grow fast and learn even faster depending on the amount of battle experience they gain. But their real power comes from their ability to adapt. Feed your dragon a sample of a creature you've encountered, and they'll evolve new abilities. Our researchers at the capital think this allows them to adapt to a variety of habitats. Some riders go for increased offensive power, others for a strong defense. Just pay attention to your dragon, and it'll let you know what it needs. In any case, I'm expecting great things from you. Just make sure you don't let me down. <laughs> <laughs> 